All right, guys, I think it's time for a reset. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Weight Loss Wednesday. This one is a little, mm, I don't know, I'm not too, super happy about this week. I got a lot to, to say about that, um, so let's just get right into it. So as you guys know, the last like two months I've really been like fluctuating between weight um and i think like the lowest i got down to is like 349 and i've been kind of fluctuating between like 349 and 356 for like two months and part of it is there were like a lot of events that happened that kind of like countered some stuff like birthdays anniversaries vacation that kind of stuff and i'll be honest it's just been really hard for me to go a whole week on points um for various reasons and for a while like before like it wasn't that big of a deal because like if I did like one day that was basically using up all my weekly points and stuff and so I was still able to lose weight but these days it's like I'll go two days staying on points and then the next day it's like ugh, I don't want to think about it or we go out with friends and I don't want to think about it or you know we are you know doing stuff on the weekend and we're not completely sober and so then I don't really care about points then either so that I just I can't seem to get back on it a hundred percent like I've been like mm, you know most weeks like 75 ish but some weeks it's like 55 ish and so I really just need like a reset you know where I get my body back to getting used to like eating less food and less of the crap food um, before we get into that though um, I obviously am not happy about this week um, and uh, I really struggled this week and I also well let me just show you the weight video and then and then I'll talk about it 361.0 down okay so I am up last week I was 354.8 this week I'm 361 this was kind of a wake-up call for me because even though I've been fluctuating for two months I have not gotten back into the 360s until now and that was kind of like a oh, yikes moment you know like get it together Laura so um, I, I'm not really sure why I put on 6.2 pounds because while there were like one or two days that I didn't like strictly stay to points, I did stay on points like quite a few days last week. So I don't know. I think it might also be because I just started, you know, that time of the month. But either way, I don't care what the reason is. This was like a wake up call for me that I need to get back on track. And so Aaron and I, um, he was actually going to do the video with me today because we were going to like make this commitment together for you guys. Um, and he was going to show like his support and helping me this week. And then he like caught some sort of bug yesterday and he's literally, li God, I can't even talk, literally been puking his guts out for over 24 hours. Just like, can't keep anything down, like just terrible. He's finally not throwing up anymore, but he's feeling really weak and gross and he obviously doesn't want to be on film. So maybe he'll be, um, hopefully he'll be in the follow-up video um, next week with me. But we kind of came up with a plan to get us back on track. Um, and I feel like once I stay on track for like a full week, it's a lot easier for me to like keep on it. So that's kind of what we're focusing on is that I have honestly not gone a full seven days, like a full week cycle of staying on points and not going out of my daily points and like weekly points. So in like two months, which is terrible which is probably why I'm not losing any more weight really. So we are going to attempt to go the full week with staying on points and not going out of our points for the full week. So that is what we're gonna do. We're hoping it will like reset us, get us back on track, get our bodies back to um, getting used to that kind of food and, and how, um, the less amount of food, right? So we have a couple of things we're planning for this week um, in order to help us. So first is we came up with like a food budget because we're not gonna let ourselves eat out at all this week. Um, a lot of times I can eat out and stay, still stay on points, but for the purposes of this week, I don't wanna chance it, I don't wanna feel tempted, and I really just wanna get my body like back to not eating that kind of stuff uh, regularly. So we are not going to eat out at all this week. We're gonna eat everything from home. And so um, that includes, um, or so that's why we're going to have a budget. So like it kind of forces us like, oh, we can't, uh, you know, eat out because we don't have the money, right, for that. So that's something that's going to help us um, stay on track with that. Um, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to not like do any like 
big activities this week because sometimes that throws us off. It's not like we can't ever do those, or whatever, but just for this week, we're trying to do a reset. We're trying to get back on track. So no big events, no hanging out with friends, so like go out to eat and like things like that. We're just gonna keep it low key and try to eat at home and no like excuses, you know what I mean? To like eat out. Um, or to eat poorly. And then the third thing is we're going to stay sober. Because sometimes, you know, on the weekends, you have a little bit, you're feeling a little bit, and you just, you don't think about the things that are important. It's not like we're huge, like, you know, I'm just saying, like, sometimes that contributes. And also, you know, um, it's just good for the body to take a little break from that kind of stuff. So, you know, again, it's not like it's a problem that we have or anything. It's just one of the many things we're doing to help us not slip. Because sometimes when I'm not sober, I don't care about those kinds of things. And then I just, oh, you know, you know what it's like. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So sober week. <laughs> eating at home so it's gonna be super exciting this week in our household let me tell you <laughs> so yeah so that's the plan so we what we want to do is really see how much weight we can lose in the one week and really prove that we can stay on track so today is Wednesday we started it yesterday because we do our weigh-in on Tuesday and we started it so so far I'm doing great like I was on points yesterday. I think I was like seven points under for the day. So four of them rolled over. Today so far, I, I've only eaten 17 points. I get like 40 something because, you know, I'm a big girl. Um, so I still have plenty of points left. I don't, I don't think I'll have a problem at all today. And so, so far, so good. So what I'm doing, what I'm committing to you guys is I'm going to prove to you next week. I'm going to show you my little uh, Weight Watcher app. And um, I'm going to show you. Let me find it. I'll show you like all of my days, right? So like you can see that I am my little weekly progress just so that I'm like holding myself accountable to you guys that I'm gonna stay on points all week and I'm going to stay sober and I'm going to not eat out and not do any big like extravagant um, like events this week. So that's the plan. I need to get it together. This is not the end of my weight loss journey and so I'm tired of sitting here for, for two months. Um, I know a lot of you have like tips like oh cut out carbs cut out whatever and I understand that like that kind of stuff works but I'm just I'm more focused on like not like the quick easy like way I'm really focused on um, the points help me eat less food and choose better food I don't want to have to like eliminate th like I want to be able to like be healthy enough in my mind that I can do things right because I know plenty of people who are healthy and skinny who still eat bread you know who still eat pizza and stuff it's about just completely changing my relationship with food and so that's really it's going to be a long process and um i don't expect it to happen in one year you know i've been doing this i'm really committed to this for like just eight months and i've been doing really well and I've never missed a week with you guys and I just plan to continue that and I really am grateful for you guys sticking with me and checking in and rooting for me and all of that kind of stuff so so yeah that's where I'm at so let's see Ooh, can I do it well I can do it but how good am I gonna do it this week let's see how much of a difference this makes and see if this can really help me reset so how about you guys? How is your week going? I'm really tired. These 7 a.m. classes are killing me. I've got to get on a better sleep schedule. <sighs> so I'm exhausted from that. And Aaron's been really sick, so I've been taking care of him. But other than that, I think everything's good, you know? Except I'm not happy about the weight loss stuff. But I'm feeling better. I feel like I have a plan. I have a goal. So I think I'm good. So let me know how you guys are doing. Comment down below. Let me know how your week is going, your weight loss journey is going, whatever journey it is that you're on. Let me know how it's going. And uh, yeah, make sure that you're here next week um, to see what happens for the week of Laura. All right, guys, thanks so much for always tuning in with me. If you haven't yet, please make sure you like and subscribe. And it's really helpful if you hit the bell because then it'll notify you when my videos go up because I don't have a consistent time. I'm really terrible with that, so I apologize. Maybe someday I'll try to be more consistent with my times. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!